Meow, I'm Master Tiffin Flower, and welcome to my crafting channel. I will post videos regularly, so please subscribe and turn on your notification button so you don't miss any of our videos. From the last tutorial, we learned about the importance of the primer layer in Ulushi Lacquerware. Today, I will show you the Hanji priming method. It is the easiest out of the three standard primers. The priming process usually takes two to three weeks to complete. Meow. The technique of applying primer is not simple, but it is essential to every Ulushi crafter. You may need to practice on a piece of wood or a cheap plastic pen several times before you mastered this technique. For this project, you will need gloves, face mask, a fountain pen. I'm demonstrating on an antique Parker 51 pen. Holder, sand papers, one each for 180, 400, 600, 1500, and 3200 grit. Raw ulushi. I'm recommending using sashime. Lint-free cloth, fulo, that we made in lesson two. Palette knives, paint brush, diatomaceous earth or jinoko, tonoko, white spirit. Water, washing up liquid. Remember to wear gloves and keep your room well ventilated. Always wear your mask when you are handling powder or doing dry sanding. Stay safe. Meow. Let's get started. Step 1. Sand your pen with 180 grit sandpaper. This will increase the surface area, hence improve the binding of the primer. Wet or dry sand the plastic pen and wash it with washing up liquid and water after sanding. Let it dry thoroughly for at least 8 hours. If you are working on a wooden surface, dry sand and clear the wood with dry cloth because water will damage the wood. Step 2. Seal the pen with raw ulushi. Paint a layer of raw ulushi onto the pen with a paintbrush. You need to thin the raw ulushi with turpentine at 50-50 ratio if you are working on a wooden surface. Wait for 5 minutes. Then wipe off the excess ulushi on the pen with lint-free cloth. Cure the pen in a furo at 20 degrees Celsius and 70% humidity for at least 24 hours. I usually let it cure for 3 days. Avoid from increasing the humidity above 80% if you are working on a wooden surface. Step 3. As you can see, this antique pen is engraved. To repair or erase a deep defect, prepare sabi ulushi. Mix 0.4 gram of yellow tonoko with 4 drops of water. Then, fold in around 0.5 gram of raw ulushi. Use a palette knife to cover the defect with sabi ulushi. Let the sabi ulushi cure at 20 degrees Celsius and 80% humidity in the furo for at least 48 hours. Then, sand it smooth with 400 grit sandpaper. Step 4. Paint another layer of raw ulushi onto the pen. Wait for 5 minutes. Then wipe off the excess ulushi on the pen with lint-free cloth. Cure the pen in a furo at 20 degrees Celsius and 80% humidity for at least 24 hours. If you still can see the defect, repeat step 3 and 4. Step 5. There are 3 steps for each layer of primer. They are painting, sanding, and sealing. Prepare your base primer paint by combining 0.4 gram of diatomaceous earth or jinoko with 4 drops of water. Then fold in 0.4 gram of raw ulushi. Paint the base primer on the pen with a brush. The thickness of the primer should be even. 
Don't worry about brush marks because we are going to sand it. Cure the base primer in a full oil at 20 degrees Celsius and 80% humidity for at least 24 hours. Step 6. Sand the base primer lightly with 400 grit sandpaper. Clean the pen with dry cloth. It should be smooth to touch. If you have sanded too deep and started seeing the substrate, you need to redo step 5. Seal the pen with raw ulushi and reapply the last layer of primer. Meow, go away! Step 7. Paint a layer of raw ulushi onto the pen to seal it. Wait for 5 minutes and wipe off the excess. Cure it in a furo at 20 degrees Celsius and 90% humidity for at least 12 hours. Step 8. Prepare the sabi ulushi as we described previously in step 3. Paint the sabi ulushi evenly on the pen. Cure it in a furo at 20 degrees Celsius and 90% humidity for at least 24 hours. This is the middle primer. Step 9. Sand the middle primer lightly with 600 grit sandpaper. You need to be extra careful when you're sanding the corner and you might need to use finer sandpaper. Clean the pen with dry cloth. Step 10. Seal the pen with raw ulushi. Brush on a layer of raw ulushi. Wait for 5 minutes and wipe off the excess. Cure it in a furo at 20 degrees Celsius and 90% humidity for at least 12 hours. Step 11. Apply a second layer of sabi ulushi onto the pen. Cure the middle primer in a furo at 20 degrees Celsius and 90% humidity for at least 24 hours. This is the top primer. Step 12. Dry sand the top primer with 600 grit sandpaper. And wet sand with 1500 grit sandpaper.
clean it with cloth. Most stroke marks should be removed and the surface should be smooth to touch. Don't worry about small and shallow dents, as they will be covered by surface paint. Step 13. Last step, meow. Seal the top primer with raw ulushi. Brush on a layer of raw ulushi, then wait for 5 minutes and wipe off the excess. Cure it in a fuller at 20 degrees Celsius and 90% humidity for at least 12 hours. I usually leave pen in the fuller for one week to make sure every layer is fully cured. Now you can start painting the surface layer. Fun fact Tonoko is color coded by its grain size instead of its actual color. Red is coarse size, yellow is medium size and white is fine size. Don't expect a red colored powder if you order red tonoko. Yeah? If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. And if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and share our video to your friends. Your support means a lot to us. Next time, I will teach you how to paint on the surface Ilushi. See you next time! Good luck crafting! Meow!